In this video, we're going to be talking about vectors. We're going to talk about what they are and why we like them. First in our discussion about vectors, we have to talk about data structures, because a vector is a type of data structure in MATLAB. By data structure, I just mean a way of storing a bunch of information. So there's three main principles when it comes to talking about different data structures. And those are, first, there has to be a way to create these data structures. Second, there has to be a way of accessing different elements after you place them in. And lastly, there has to be a way of deleting things or removing things from your data structure. So we've been exposed to data structures in our everyday lives. Um, one, one, one simple example is a telephone book, right? So a telephone book stores a whole bunch of information, but it stores it in a specific way. And that's in alphabetical order by a person's last name. And since it's in alphabetical order, so we create it, right? So we, in, we enter things into our telephone book in alphabetical order. And because of that, how we access things, we can look things up based on their alphabetical order. And if we were to take a number out of our telephone book by deleting it, the things around it kind of collapse and that empty hole is filled. So a vector is just a type of data structure. And throughout other videos, we're going to talk about these three different principles in dealing with vectors. So why do we like vectors? So let's do this through example. Let's say I wanted to um, store a whole bunch of people's ages. Right now, I would have to have a variable for each person's age, where I could have like age one is let's say 17 and age two is 20 and age three, that's a 20, and age three is 25, right? And so for every age, I have to have a separate variable. So what happens if I start having like a bunch of ages that I wanna keep track of? Let's say there was a thousand ages. Let's say there was 10,000. Let's say there was a million ages. That would mean I would have to create all of these variables. And there's no way to do that easily you would have to go in and type out a million different variables that's that's not feasible at all and this is where vectors come into play vectors are a way of storing a whole bunch of things all in one entity and vectors by definition are homogeneous and by homogeneous i mean everything inside of a vector has to be the same class so I can have a vector of all doubles, I can have a vector of all logicals, and as we'll learn later on, there's more classes, and I can have vectors of only those as well. So vectors are used, or vectors are useful in storing a whole bunch of information, and I can just assign a, an entire vector of, let's say, a million numbers to one variable. And from then on out, I can just be dealing with that variable of all of those numbers.